Have you wanted to attract more money into your life? Today, I'm gonna give you four ways that you can change your vibration to start to attract more money into your life. Cameron here, Chief Manifestation and Success Coach, CEO, and founder of Diamond Academy Global Success Network, here today to give you my four best tips to raise your vibration to attract more money into your life. I have seen a drastic influx of wealth come into my life when I took these four things paid really big attention and implemented them into my life. And I'm gonna show you how you can do the same today. One of the first things that I changed was my comfort level talking about money. So some of the wealthiest people in the world they are okay talking about money. They're okay talking about how much they have, what they spend it on, how much they bring in on a regular basis. And there's a connection here. And there's a big difference that I want you to pay special attention to because this is something I really, really heard. So wealthy people are comfortable speaking about money before the money comes, not the other way around. So they don't generate all kinds of wealth and then become comfortable with it. It's something that they do beforehand to start operating on the frequency of more money. So this is one of the first things that I did. I started being okay with talking about having money. I started talking about wanting money and I started to really step into the person that has all of this wealth. And how would I talk about money and how would I be comfortable with it? And I became that version. So when I started to desire it and I started to normalize it, that's when I started to see it come more and more into my life at a faster and faster pace. The second thing that was really important for me was really connecting with my want for money. And so many of us have been conditioned over our lives to think that money is bad. Money is the root of all evil. And so what ends up happening is that we don't fully express our want of it. We're scared that it's gonna be a bad thing that we want it or that we have it. That we're gonna feel guilty for having more than what other people have. And so what that does is it creates resistance. We are not open to receive the abundance that we are so, so honored to be able to have. And so what I started to do is I started to really think about what kind of life could I live when I had more money? And how could having money be a good thing? Not only for me, but for my family and for my legacy after I'm not here anymore. The other thing I started to look at is how could having more money be beneficial for other people around me? And one of my mentors said something really powerful. In order to do great things in this world, you need money to do it. And you are not helping those less fortunate by staying less fortunate yourself. In order to invoke big change in this world, we need to all learn how to bring more abundance and prosperity into our life and now have the opportunity to teach others, which is what I'm doing here today. The third thing I want to talk about is your focus. So what you focus on grows. So is your focus on lack and limitation or abundance and prosperity? And so when you're focusing on the debt that you currently have, the lack of money in your bank account, or how you're not quite making enough than what, than what you want to make, your focus and your energy is going towards that lack. And so what you're recreating and what you're attracting more of is more debt. So this is why we see people suddenly, they finally have this money in their bank account and then something breaks down, the exact amount that they had saved. It's because it is your financial set point. And so what we want you to do is start to shift your focus towards having money. 
What would it be like to have a large sum of money in your bank account? What would it be like to spend it? And so when you shift your focus, miraculous things happen and people start attracting money to them. And then that money stays and they get into this beautiful circulation where the money continues to ever flow. And this is the state that we wanna be in. We wanna truly believe that we are abundant, that money is ever flowing and ever available. And so whenever you need to tap into that frequency, go on to another YouTube channel or this channel here too, and see all the abundance that people have. There are lots of people in this world that have a lot. And so that means there is a lot available to you. And my last tip today, which is one of the funnest things that you can ever do, is to plan for what you're gonna spend the money on. So this is where you get to daydream, you get to fantasize about what it would be like to have a certain amount of money. So maybe it's $20,000 a month income. Maybe it's $50,000 a month income. How would your life be different? How would you put that money to use? Where would you donate? Where would you gift to your friends and family? And what sorts of things would you bring into your life that you don't currently have? Maybe it's experiences. And so when you start thinking in that way and you start planning for it, you're sending a beautiful message out that you are open to receive, that you have a plan for the funds to be used, and you will find that it comes to you faster than you ever thought possible. Thank you so much for joining me today on this training on how to attract more money into your life. I want you to like and subscribe and let us know in the chat which one of these four tips you're gonna incorporate into your life today. With gratitude, Kathleen.